So, my name is Keith Chambers. I'm the Director of Operations Execution Software for Schneider Electric. I've been with the company for a couple of years now. Yeah, so there's been really two big changes that are happening in, in the landscape. So firstly, within the plant, we're, we're seeing the breakdown of a lot of silos. Traditionally, plants had operations, they had maintenance, they had quality people. Now those silos are starting to break down and, and businesses are looking for a much more collaborative solution across those silos. We're also seeing a major trend in the industry from a single site, single point solution that's driven by plant needs to multi-site enterprise solutions that are really more driven by the business need. And those two things colliding is what's kind of driving the industry today. That has a big effect on how we deliver projects into those solutions. So when, we, when you look at delivering a multi-site enterprise MES system, um, a, a few of the things that are different. So firstly, they're typically multi-region multi global things. So you have localization, you, you have regional issues, you have support issues. Uh, when you put an MES system into a single plant, you can support it from a local resource that knows that plant and works with it. You have to recreate that model when you do a global program. That's the second thing that we've really changed in how we deliver these systems into our customers' uh, plants is we, we manage them as a global program. We have a team of specialized global program managers who look at not just an individual project, but the overall program and how does that all come together and deliver value again, not just to one site, but across multiple sites. Over the years, there's been a maturing need for MES within the plants. Plants have needed to improve their operations, productivity, visibility, uh, reduce their waste, improve their and safeguard the quality output. So there's been pressure inside the plant, a maturing need for MES. Outside of the plant, businesses have been very proactive uh, undergoing business transformation to give themselves the responsiveness, the flexibility, the agility that they need in their market. So manufacturing operations transformation is really where those two things meet. Uh, completing the business transformation within the plants, uh, bringing, bridging that gap from the business view of the, of the world to the plant-centric view of the world. Yeah, I like to think of, uh, of the value of these systems as, as being on a maturity curve. You know, uh, where, when we first started this many years ago, uh, we talked about MES, and, and MES has some fairly well-known value propositions around operational improvements. So uh, productivity, um, uh, improved yields, less waste, uh, visibility into manufacturing. Those were all fairly well identified and served by MES. Um, but as I talked about earlier, uh, the, the silos within the plant between operations, quality and maintenance came down and really the, mature, the industry matured into manufacturing operations management, which took a much broader view of all of the operations that were occurring in the plant. So again, value propositions there that, that added to the MES value propositions were quality safeguarding, reduced cost of conformance, re reduced cost of non-conformance. Manufacturing operations transformation gives access to a new set of value propositions that you simply can't get in a single site. You can get significant cost reductions in the total cost of ownership for the customer by coordinating a global program, but the value doesn't end there. Once you have a, a standardized system across a number of plants, then you can start to get meaningful metrics, KPIs out of those plants that allow comparison. So very important to help businesses start to manage and make decisions about how they should be manufacturing the products that they want to bring to market. Other value propositions that we see with, with an operations transformation program is a, um, a consistent approach to regulatory compliance, whether that be environmental, health, safety, FDA, food, whatever those regulations are, there are benefits in a business being able to define a standardized approach across their business that really minimizes the risk that, and the exposure that they have to the regulators. So when it comes to manufacturing operations transformation, it sounds like it's only meant for the big guys in the industry, so that's really not the case. Large regional players, really any manufacturer that has three or four sites can get some of these benefits that we talked about out of these types of systems. And it's really not specific to any particular industry, whether it be food and beverage, uh, discrete manufacturing, life sciences, or um, specialty chemical, there, there's value there for everyone. 